writing your Christmas wish list. Ask only for a horse. Give them no other ideas, no other hints. Speak kindly about parents who do get their kids a horse. Both Ashley and Chelsea are getting horses for Christmas. Oh, their parents are so nice. Drop hints that if you had a horse, you wouldn't have time for boys. Richard asked me to go to the spring fling with him in March, and I told him yes, unless I get a horse for Christmas. Because if I get a horse, I'm not gonna have time for boys, or dances, or really anything. Tell your parents that your goody two-shoes friends will be too busy for you. Ashley and Chelsea are going to be too busy to hang out with me once they get their horses. I'll have to make new friends at school. Low-key threatened to make friends with the bad girls. Oh, if you don't get me a horse, can you get me makeup and mini skirts? That way Sabrina and Veronica will accept me into their clique. Read books about horses in front of your parents. They'll love to see you reading. The end. Oh, this was such a good book. Do you think we could go to the library again? I mean, I know we just went yesterday, but I already finished all the books about horses. I just can't help myself. I can't stop reading. Put subliminal messages up all around the house. Show your mom rescue stories to pull on her heartstrings. Mom, come look at these rescue horses. They're skin and bones. In need of homes. <gasps> Suck up to your parents by doing extra tours around the house. Threaten to never speak to them again. If I don't get a horse for Christmas, I'm never speaking to you ever again. Throw a major tantrum. <laughs> Just get me a horse. If you've completed all the steps and you still don't think it's working, go ask daddy. Hey daddy, when you get off work, do you think you and I could go on a daddy-daughter date? I have something I wanted to ask you. <laughs>